Hello and welcome to my Wings of Liberty ladder games. And would you look at that? What happened? This isn't a placement. We'll see what how this ha how this plays out. So I haven't been playing a lot of games because StarCraft is kind of stressful compared to things like League, which I've been playing a lot of. And I only really play League because my friends are always on League. I, I just don't find it being a, a game like I have absolutely zero interest in solo queuing League. Uh, sometimes if someone tells me to then I will do it. But uh, yeah, StarCraft is a lot more stressful compared to League, so I, I, I don't find a desire to sit here and play StarCraft all day. I know I used to do that, but right now I don't want to. And that's mostly because of the emergence of Trash. The, the sort of the, the pro scene have shifted away from Wings ever since I think three, four years ago. So right now, People are gonna watch the garbage, they're gonna pick up the garbage, they're gonna bring garbage into this game. Take Zerg vs Zerg for example. Very very garbage heavy. Before, in uh, I would say when I uploaded a lot and I would consider the prime days of Wings of Liberty, Zerg, the ZVZ in particular, very very heavy on the hatch first. Hatch first pull and then go straight to roaches. But right now I tried doing hatch first, it doesn't work. Uh, it's not because I'm a greedy fuck that I go hatch first. I like hatch first because it lines up your queens very nicely and makes your injects a lot easier. That's the main reason that I do hatch first. So right now I have to do pool first, and even pool first is like, well, what happens when your lings don't, uh, when your ling spam doesn't work? You, you just spam more fucking lings. And that just makes for really, really frustrating games. Uh, Protoss versus Zerg also have evolved into a lot of muta bullshit. And to top it all off, when you finally dealt with all the trash, if you dealt with all the trash, the players are just outright terrible. Like, I walk in their base and all I see is disappointment. So I don't really feel like, you know, dealing with that. And that's why I'm not, uh, well, it's, it, it actually looks like this one's expanding. So this one, this one has potential to be a good game. We're seeing in terms of builds, there is no pull. So this will be a hatch first. Of course, there is hope for this game. Now, my Terran versus Zerg is pretty bad at this moment. It used to be one of my favorite matchups, but right now it's not. Uh, or at least uh, it, it is still one of my favorite matchups, but I'm pretty bad at it. And the reason I say that is because I do a very sort of intensive build for Terran versus Zerg. I, I generally tend to do the like the Hellion opening followed by Banshees. And it's just very, very intensive in terms of switching around the structures. It's, uh, I, I tend to mess up because I haven't played for, for, a, for a long time. So that's why this build, I'm not familiar with this. And since I only play a couple of ranked games every, I would say every now and then, it, it is very hard for me to get better as well. So that's what we have here. Now, since he went for that pool, Since he went for hatch first, he won't be able to get out any units in time. Uh, Zergling, so I can actually bring my marines out for a while. Okay, let's go ahead and get this and this. I don't know why I can't afford this command right now. He is gonna let the overlord get away. I, I like, whenever I have my resources not line up properly like this, I feel like I forgot something. I did forget to put the guys in gas very early on, so that might have contributed to a little bit of extra minerals. And it could just be that I suck because I haven't played for a while. Like, this is, this is not lining up either. Now, in terms of Hellion opening, let's talk about that for a while. I like to go for early Hellions instead of, you know, four Hellions. Now the four Hellions does have more potential to do damage, but I like the early Hellions because they they, they prevent expands. And what we're doing, our main goal with the Hellions is to prevent Zerg from macroing up too heavily. And early Hellions, I feel like, do a better job of that. They also hit earlier, so you'll have more time with Lings without speed, which is something Hellions are a lot better at. So that's basically why I've adapted early Hellions as opposed to, you know, um, many Hellions. So the first thing we want to do is check if he has an expand. We have that going on. 
And it looks like he doesn't. I think I'll get a third pair. Cloak. Nope, we don't have enough gas for that. I forgot what that was. That's an evil chamber. I know I said I wouldn't exchange, but right now he's just asking for it. It's like nothing but garbage in here. Yeah, bad rally over there, but... Okay, so that was actually a lot of hefty losses. I probably shouldn't have rallied this one. Okay, let's see in terms of saturation. At least I remember that. So while I did lose a lot of Hellion for potentially no damage, I did see he has a lot of Queens. And also he has a lot of... Uh, like, he put down two spines, I think. So, at least in terms of the economy, we're not that much behind. I'm just gonna go get another two. Like, this, this, this is a very heavy Hellion investment. So, we're not gonna have as many units when we move out. Go ahead and get this. Can we cancel something? Can cancel these for the Banshees. This is the build I like. I like to go for, you know, those uh, guys with guns push after. Now, there is a weakness with Banshee openings followed by uh, Hellion openings followed by Banshee openings, and that's anti-air. That's why I'm getting these for, for the upgrades as well. But also to get some turrets up for for, uh, for Mutas. Also, just considering how much people like the garbage at this day and age, I feel like it's a good idea. Ten minutes. We've got... Like, Mutas are not completely out of the question. Okay, so he's gonna see Banshees. We're gonna kill that guy. Banshees are probably not gonna do much at this point. This guy is on top of his... That's, uh, yeah, that's four. Now, the thing with Banshees is you can still garbage with them when you're... Oh, no, he's very heavily spored up. So this guy might actually be good. Yeah, I can't deal any damage with this. Now, the good thing is we are actually on top of our, you know, stuff. I feel like all he has is... Great start this. Yes, we have this. We have Stim. So I feel like once we get some units, I can move out. I do want to move out with four medivacs. And this is the point that I like to expand. It's just I, I can't get the units out fast enough. And that's why I expand a little bit later. Okay, it looks like he is you know, crapping up everything like a turd. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this expand. Okay, that creep spread is actually a little bit out of control. I need to see what unit he has. What is that? So this is actually something that I learned. The Banshees are very good at you know, tanking. 
We're providing support fire as well. Maybe we could have used a little bit more guys with guns. Siege tanks are done. That's actually a load of crap coming right now. Wonder if we can answer that. Yeah, he's gonna back up because can't really deal with that. I'm gonna wait for my medevacs to be done. Potentially break through this. In terms of game, this is actually turning out to be pretty good. It's a lot more than what I can expect normally. Okay, so what can we do right now? We're kind of behind economically, which is not something I'm comfortable with. Uh, I think we'll wait for the tank, and then we're gonna move out. It's a good thing we have this expansion already. Oh, that's only one medevac. Oh well. Yeah, he's being a turd there as well. Okay, so we're not exactly in the world's best shape, but I feel like we can put on some pressure. He's, garb he's garbaging this. I feel like uh, we probably want a little bit more. Yeah, the garbage count is just... Uh, Okay, he's lost some. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making Thors. Those are good against Mutas. I don't really know what else to do about this. Uh, why is my rally messed up? Okay, so as, as long as we have one Thor out, I think I think we'll be okay. Upgrade complete. Not enough everything. Okay. So he's got that overseer. So he's gonna know the attack is coming, but I feel like right now he he might choose to. You know, Yeah, there's no cure for banelings really. Let's see what's over here. That garbage is garbaging. Okay, the command actually went down, so I don't really know why I'm still playing. Honestly, I think I think what this comes down to is just very very bad engagements early on. I haven't done enough damage with the uh, with the Hellions, but right now I, ju I just don't want to play this game anymore. But as far as games go, this one has met my expectations. Uh, do we want to move out with these Thors? I think Thors are better at tanking than you know, other shit. So let's try and move out again. This guy's actually good enough to, you know, not throw the bane links at the at the Thors at the retard magnets. What's his upgrades looking at? Uh, plus two. Yeah, there's no cure for bane links. Really. Well, at least that met my expectations. So there's hope for wings. I'm not saying I'm a good Terran player, but at least this isn't the plat filth that we normally deal with.